Hey everybody, it's Joe with EFI, and today we're going to talk about mailing automation with EFI VDP powered by Direct Smile. Commercial and enterprise implant print providers are always looking for new revenue streams and ways to increase the volume in their operations. Mailing services, especially short-run direct mail applications, are a great opportunity to drive that kind of growth. But mailing services can be complicated to ramp up with all these manual processes for mailing data processing and post office procedures required. EFI BDP for Digital Storefront is here to help with its mailing automation workflow and valuable customer facing options. Let's talk about how it works. Okay, so let's look at the mailing automation workflow functionality within Digital Storefront. Here on my demonstration site, I've got a direct mail postcard. Uh, in this case, this is an example uh, that is targeted towards the automotive industry. So we're going to say that we are uh, so somebody in marketing at an automotive dealer group, and we're going to customize this postcard to do some marketing for a particular model and make of car at one of our dealerships. So I'll click the button, and the dynamic product builder will open up and I'll select batch mode because I want to do multiple records here and the first thing I'm going to do is start customizing the things that I want to be the same on every impression uh, and in this case that's based on the car make and the model of the car and the dealership that sells it that I'm marketing for so here when I make my selection notice I've got car manufacturer names here C crawler neutron mellow drive and farpoint and notice that when I select a particular manufacturer, the drop-down showing the models of the cars are changing based on settings in the template. This is using a feature also built into EFI BDP called Dynamic Web Forms. Just makes it easier for your buyers. So now that I've selected the dealership that carries this car and it's pre-populated information based on that, I'm going to go about specifying what I want different about every impression, in this case the mailing list. So you can see I've got three options here available through EFI BDP and our integration data services provider partner AccuZip. We have upload a data source, use every door direct mail or EDDM, or we can also purchase list data as part of this transaction. Now when I choose Upload Data Source, this is going to ask me to upload a mailing file, so that's what I'm going to do. And once I've done my mapping, now, we, now Digital Storefront automatically runs my mailing list through CAS certification, national change of address, deduping, and pre-sorting. Right? Operations on data that traditionally have had to do after the order comes in, so an accurate quantity of data of deliverable addresses is never attainable here on the storefront but with EFI BDP for digital storefront it is so from here I would click process list and it would run my list through that data hygiene process and then return a record count based on how many addresses made it through but to move on to the next option I'm gonna close that and go to every door direct mail or EDDM so every door direct mail is a program direct with the US Postal Office, kind of the modern day equivalent of the old resident occupant mailings that we used to get. So here with our geo mapping feature for every door direct mail, uh, the marketer, the buyer, can zoom in on a particular location based on a zip code and then start clicking on the map to define their mailing area. Does it need to be continuous? I can click anywhere I want. But notice that as I do, it's keeping track of the postal routes that I've selected and the total number of residential versus business deliveries here and for my total number of deliveries. So at this point, I can click Get Estimated Postage Charge and that will return the postage charge here, which can now be included as part of my mailing. So I'm going to close this to move on to my third option here, which is purchasing list data online as part of the transaction. So from here you can see I can choose from a number of database types. Business, consumer, new mover, homeowner, new business. So these database categories are maintained by our partner AccuZip and used as part of this integration with Digital Storefront to help marketers zero in on particular types of data. For example, I might want to say 
show me all people that moved to a particular zip code. I'll put in my zip code. But then also add another filter uh, to maybe uh, address only new movers in my zip code that are interested in bicycling or wine tasting or something like that. So you can see we can build our own custom query list here from these database categories and then proceed with the mailing. So you can see really quickly here how EFI BDP and the mailing automation workflow functionality within it uh, is a great place for somebody who's getting into mailing to start because it can help them with that steep learning curve that there is to getting into mailing. But even for folks who are used to doing advanced mailing or are already doing mailing, this is a system by where they can automate some of their simpler online stuff and dedicate their time for hand-holding on projects that require it when they do. And now let's go look at what this looks like on the production side of things. Let's change hats and now move over to the print shop and slide over to the operator view in Digital Storefront. And here at the top of the list, I'll open up the job ticket for this order that was just placed. And here on the job ticket, we see not only do we have the filtered list as provided by AccuData, but we also have the ability to generate and regenerate this artwork, as well as retrieve our U.S. post office documents that need to go along with this mailing to the post office. For example, our mail.dat file and our postal forms. So again, you can really see how EFI VDP with its integration with AccuZip can really help getting into mailing easier for the print shop.